This is incredible Cappadocia, Central Turkey. I don't know what that is. It looked like a temple. Maybe it's even older than Christianity. So the town of Germe, Marhaba, is right there. The main town to stay in, although there are other towns you can stay in as well, but it is a good central spot for exploring this absolutely phenomenal, natural, and historical wonderland. So this is my third time to Cappadocia, and I had never seen that before. I stayed in a hotel just like right over there the last time, and I was in town and just decided to go for a little walk and ended up wandering up here. And then here you go. There's more of the mind-blowing fairy chimneys natural formations formed over, I'm sure, millions of years. And then, of course, as you can see, human carved caves and carvings. That looks like a cross. It's one of those crosses with the uh, angle, it looks like, but it's been very worn away. And that might be a cross as well. A very different style and then some sort of little room here and up there let's uh take a look so i'm going to uh walk man into the town and show you the town but look at this So there is Gerame. And many of these natural cave complexes, because they're like apartment complexes of just like caves in the cliffs, like all over the place, all throughout this area. And so many of them have been turned into hotels. And then also there have been many hotels created in the uh, same color of rock so that they kind of blend in and so you can see kind of a combination of both the modern cave hotels and the ancient cave hotels and then the natural fairy chimneys with you can see these square windows of ancient carved caves like maybe 2,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago, even longer. They basically don't know the whole history because it is impossible to carbon date natural rock. The caves were just carved out of the rock. You can find various artifacts, you know, a, a shred of clothing or whatever, and carbon date that. But then that only tells you the age of the piece of fabric, not the age of the cave that the fabric was found in. Cappadocia is mentioned in the Bible, and no doubt the history goes much further back than that. So this whole valley I had never really seen before, probably from up there. I've kind of hiked out on top of these uh, plateaus, which is where you can see the hot air balloons rising over the town and the valleys here basically every morning and you can take a ride in them
look at that one. I gotta take a look at that. It might take a while to get into town here. So there's just a whole complex here. More stairs going up there. It looks like this uh, video is going to turn into a uh, cave tour and then I will get down to the uh, town. But uh, having never seen these before and so spectacular and yet no fee entrance, I just walked up a dusty road there and thought that it was just going to be you know, kind of the uh, valley and stuff. And then the ferry chimney. So this is all a surprise. This uh, cave complex. So let's go take a closer look. And so here you have this little cave right here. What exactly was that for? Unless that one actually could be natural occurring. But uh, probably it's also carved out. But this one, obviously carved out. A big room here. And then here are those stairs. And look at this. A whole like shelving system. What in the world? I don't think that I've seen this specific configuration of uh, holes like this in a cave before, and I've been in a lot of them. Again, here, is it maybe for some spiritual purpose, like candles on all these? That would be really epic to come in here at night and uh, put candles in all of these. Make a fire or something, have music. Cappadocia is just full of surprises. Okay, not too much to see here. A pretty deep hole it looks like, and a locked door. And it is another kind of similar room with all the uh, shelves. Wonder why it's locked. And so I was just talking with that guy, and he said that thing is from around 1900 BC. 4,000 years old. And so this is the uh, path that I ended up walking up. So town is just a couple of minutes away, and things are going to be just as strange as I get into town. And you'll see lots more of the uh, fairy chimneys, and here's another uh, cave complex. Whoa, cool art. And so that's where I just was. And here's the edge of town, Garame. As you can see, this hotel is like created 
against the uh, cliff and probably natural caves that were there and then they added on to it and made a very nice hotel. Making a video just showing your okay. your food. I will have to come here. Okay. See you. That is Turkey right there. The shape of the country. Garame. And this is downtown Garame. Bus station there and taxis. Lots of restaurants, souvenir shops, where you can buy fake coins and probably real ones as well. And here's one of the ferry chimneys right in the middle of town. And look at that. Massive columns. Roma Kalesi, Rome Castle. Rock tombs are the most commonly used tomb forms in Cappadocia. The most important reasons why rock tombs were widely common were easy to carve rock formations around Cappadocia and faith in life after death. During Roman period, it was believed that after death, human spirit taken by an angel up to sky and then to underground to be questioned. So, tombs that carved into high rock blocks were important for being closer to sky and being well protected. While preparing the tomb, first the rock were carved to prepare the tomb room. A tomb room generally has one or several rooms. Deceased's body usually laid on a special platform, prepared for the body, and then the Every item that deceased liked, such as foods, clothes, and other items, placed somewhere close to the body. There was only one entrance to the room, and it was protected by rock door. Tomb's outer side flattened to give it a monumental image. Rome Castle in Cappadocia is an example of the architecture of the tomb. So, can you kind of get inside somehow, or... Look at that! There is a massive, massive room up there. I've walked past this thing, I don't know how many times, on previous visits, and had never taken a closer look and seen the columns there. I guess you can't get up to the top. Not easily, anyways. I can see a uh, gate up there. And so here you can see what's up there. It's just a whole apartment complex of carved out rooms. Incredible.
And so here the line of restaurants and shops continues, but I'm curious to see what's up here. I don't think I've ever walked this way before. And so I can see windows, looks like with glass, in the side of that cliff. But how do you access the room or whatever that is on the other side of the window when it's a big old cliff? Is there like a whole cave system like deep inside that cliff or something? It looks like there's a balcony. And so I think that that is a hotel, part of it anyway. What's going on? And here, looks like is a uh, mosque. Yeah, Camille. Let's see if anyone has a problem with me uh, going up here. I think not. So there you can see a lookout point. People standing up there. Big old Turkish flag. And there are those uh, windows in the side of the cliff. And I can see a balcony the one on the left, trippy. So this is the reception area for a hotel. Cave Hotel, Unicorn Cave Hotel. Not sure if that's two different hotels, but uh, there are a lot of them around here, just all embedded into these natural formations and cliffs. All right, let's find a way to get up to the top there. So this is a thing in uh, Cappadocia is these uh, classic cars all over. They uh, put them on like cliffs and stuff with the amazing background uh, and uh, take pictures. Here we have more of the little shelves. And stored spaces. Look at how big this room is. Okay. Does this go through? Can't 
quite tall. Nope. So close to the top. Look at this hotel. The Amber Cave Suites. There's their reception office. Just surreal. And traffic jam in Garamay. So, some kind of a, a payment office here. And so you have to pay three lira, that is just 50 cents, to get to the viewpoint. Which I showed in the last video. 